Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet. Well, the game did not crash last time, it just went a bit weird. Um, that was it. Anyway, we've taken over Goshen here, which is a place where we can continue the game if we lose, I suppose. And uh, yeah, we've taken a fair bit of damage, uh, the Meteor especially, it has to get its legs back. Uh, which will take a little bit. I don't know if they do uh, repairs on all the ships simultaneously or not. I have a feeling they don't. Anyway, we've taken yet another strike group, so we're doing pretty good, I would say. There's the... Oh, great. Well, that's gonna be more planes, I'm guessing. It's not exactly what I wanted right now. Uh, oh, oh look. Well, they've probably spotted us. Haven't they? No, they haven't. Look at that. They have not spotted us. Do the planes have a lower spotting range? I mean, we, we are landed in Goshen. They're probably going there trying to get us. And then we're coming from that way. So let, let me see, actually. Could we do this? Would this work? I wonder. It's going to be a little... It, what's going on? Hello? Can I... Why can I... Okay, why does it allow me to draw it on the plane? That's what I used to do in... See, because that doesn't work. Uh, that's what I used to do in Silent Hunter when I was tracking convoys. See, this, this doesn't work because this is not perpendicular. Something like that. See this? Yeah, it's not gonna work. But it does, it does maybe look like they are coming from Uz here. Could also be, of course, Bethel. Uh, there's missile carriers there. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, these planes have a really long range. I wonder if when it's gonna come back, what's gonna happen? So, oh. Oh, they have detected us. Did you see that? But the plane did not attack. That was weird. Um, see, I hate the fact that... Okay, one of the legs has been repaired. There we go. The other one needs to be repaired now, and then we can put it into the docks. Yeah, they have uh, detected us because the alarm has been raised back to full again. So let's see if the meteor has both of the legs now. It's a bit annoying that you cannot just see that clearly. Yes, it has. So now... It is missing that engine, though. Well, I, actually, it's got 9 durability. Let me see if I can land it. Probably not. Let's see. Well, yeah, I will be able to land it. Just, just barely, actually. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be... Not great, to be honest. I'll try to land in the 26, even though I guess I shouldn't really. Come on. Uh, turn, you bastard. Uh, there we go. Oof. It wasn't easy. All right. So now we can repair it much, much faster. Uh, that's gonna take a long time. I don't know if I really want to repair that much. Let's say 24 hours for now. Uh, we cannot really stay here for so long. Turbojet armor, let's put that on there. Let's repair all that. Wasp is okay. This thing is damaged. Any of these are damaged? No. Doesn't look like it. Skylark is still with us. I'm kind of tempted to put more uh, fuel on it or something. Or more engines. This thing needs to be repaired as well. Okay, why, why can I not repair this stuff? Not really sure. Okay. Repair it all! We're not going to put it into docks for now. Alright, so let's see. Are we going to get more strikes? 
We are low on morale. Morale is now four. But of course, that takes the lowest amount, which is the meteor. Uh, but it is getting repaired, and we are getting refueled very slowly. Why? I don't know. All right, repairs are proceeding. That's good. Let me see if anything else needs to be repaired now. So the gladiator is still, I guess, being repaired. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. See, I don't really understand what this little icon means. That is, does it mean that some of the things need to be... Yeah, maybe that that's what it means, actually. That some of the things are damaged. But I hate the fact that it doesn't actually easily tell you what's damaged and what isn't. Oh well. That's okay. Make sure that the engines are in good working order. Because if they're not, yeah, that decreases the uh That decreases how maneuverable the engine uh, I mean uh, the craft is. And it can get a little bit iffy. This thing has a lot of engines. Um Right, in Sevastopol I need to check. Let's get the engines up here. 100. Look at all that stuff. That's crazy. Maybe I should put more fuel tanks on it. Or more engines, really. To make it faster. Uh, do they have any of those engines? N no. Well, this is a high efficiency one. Primary thrust. And these are... Uh, for heavy ships. Obviously, nowhere I, where I can really put this. I could put it below, I suppose. Uh, but it's probably going to take a long time to retrofit. And I don't really want to spend that much time here anymore. Uh, I kind of want to leave as soon as possible. Yeah, Sevastopol is going to take 10 more hours. The meteor is going to take 6 and a half hours. So, supplies... Uh, nothing over here at the moment. Alright, so let's just wait for the repairs. And then we're gonna leave for... I get, I guess, us. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that much fuel, but... Well, now I have. Now I have. And it's interesting that that plane has detected us, it seems, but... They didn't really, um... Yeah, do anything about it. They didn't send any more planes. Tarkan, sir! We've intercepted the transmission regarding our arrival at Goshen. Uh-oh. One of the locals must have sent it. Now the enemy knows we're here. Well, they've known that for a while. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, we are sort of repaired. The meteor isn't very happy. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna stay here any longer, to be honest. See, this stuff still says that it's damaged. Quite annoying. Because then you need to... Look through the things. Oh yeah, this stuff. This ammo is uh, damaged, apparently. It's only got 10 durability instead of 20. But that's fine. Um, yeah, the meteor isn't too happy, but it's not going to get repaired here. We need to go. So the question is, do we go to here, to Uz, to get some fuel? Which we don't really need at the moment. I'm also thinking what I should have done was maybe leave the Skylark with another ship, or just the Skylark, to go hop to these um, transmission places. Because they've got intel, because they actually replenish their intel. But of course, if I send my only Skylark out, I want to have a tanker to uh, have another, you know, separate group go their own way. So we still have quite a long ways to go to Kiva. Uh, there is another HQ here. It's quite far away. There's no HQs. Whoa, look at that. Completely empty. There might be some hidden cities maybe there or something. Uh, so just one HQ next to Kiva here. So that's our destination. There's also Tarshish. Hmm. We should probably go to Tarshish next. Transport. So, oh yeah, there's another one, Jaffa. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're just going to go for this intel here. Yeah. Go for
of the intel. Unfortunately, the Sebastopol is a very, very hungry ship. <clears throat> We could go up there and try to take out that carrier group uh, because we did shoot down quite a lot of their planes but well for now that's gonna be it what was that signal center and oh, okay yes general all right so we're in, we're gonna send the gladiator not the skylark not a meteor probably the scarab and the gladiator no oh, gladiator is not very fast Scarab is 89% on its own, but it's a little, well, maybe it would be okay. But no, I'm going to send both of them. Wait, what's the, okay, 9 and 10 uh, is the morale. I'm going to send both of them just in case. Let's see. Oh, come on. When you zoom in, uh, uh Every time the game will, the first time it will just move you somewhere completely different, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just in time. Alright, there's another gladiator slogger. Let's take the sloggers out with a scarab and then uh, tickle the gladiator and then get out and then the gladiator heavy. Look at the difference between the gladiators. Because I basically had the gladiator before. And look at that. <laughs> the armor is ridiculous. Don't really have. Uh, the Scarab has one missile. I should probably shoot off before uh, they destroy it. Away. Okay, there's the Gladiator. No! Oh, freaking hell. I also don't want to be down there. I mean, up there. Nice. Nice, very nice. Alright, now let's go down there. Ouch. I kind of want to be below them because, well, obviously... Ow, ow. That's where my armor is. that he's down there as well now. Complete miss. Probably have to go. Fuel 53. Yeah, I'm not much better than him at aiming, to be completely honest. Oh, ammo explosion. Nice. Nice. Well, good job, Scarab. Yeah, I thought it would be enough, but I wanted to be to make sure. Scarab level four. Well guard. Better medic and the ship casualties. Cruising range. Oh, that's not bad. All right. So search the crew cabins. Secure the fuel tanks. Mullet. Let's go for crew protection first. Let's dismantle the mullets. And then get some fuel. Excellent. Excellent. What do you mean? The scarab isn't damaged? What? Did they seriously not take any damage at all? I'm guessing that doesn't really take into account... Um, armor. I don't, don't really understand what's going on there. Oh. 48, 50. I'll do the 48, considering it's already there. Alright. Bit of a hard landing, but okay. 
Uh, let's go for the 50, even though this thing doesn't really need any huge repairs. I love all those engines. Alright. Excellent! There we go. Lovely. Landing complete. Landing complete. Story time? Every time I hear that music, I think it's gonna be story time, but nope. Alright, so what's what's there to be repaired? It doesn't say, and you can't repair it via the repair button. That's really, really, really annoying, despite the fact that you can clearly see some of the things are damaged. I don't can I right-click on this? No. That's damaged. And then you... What? You're supposed to just go through all of the damn... Uh, modules and just click on all of them? Just in case, you know, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, and just hope for the best. Oh, great! I'm actually also cancelling the repairs. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I am. Oh, frickin' hell, so that doesn't work. Uh, 80. Okay, I'll leave it at that. That's really annoying, actually. Alright, so, that's gonna take 10 hours to repair. Fine. Only 315, because we've got some uh, repair stuff. We can sell this. The mullets. And I'm gonna buy the... Uh, I'm gonna buy the uh, halons. Because we do want them. This guy has two of them, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's wait for the main group to arrive. Now, let's see where the strike groups are. Actually, you know what? I don't care where the strike groups are. I want to know where these guys are. Sultan is there. Okay, Windwalker. All the way down there, that doesn't help me. Was that Scythian? No. I don't know where it's uh where that one found a transport probably down there somewhere. And where? Also down there. That really does pirate. Interesting. That really doesn't help me much. I mean yeah, this transport is here and look at look at the short amount of time they have to report. That really kinda sucks. Alright, so let's wait for the main group. Alright. Let's see. What else needs repairing? Gladiator is being repaired. Alright. Uh, oh no, wait. We send the scarab. No, but also the gladiator. Um, are they repairing it or not? It says zero. Well, they probably repaired it already. So longer bow still needs some repairs. This needs repair. No, actually, that's 10, so that's okay. That's really rather annoying, I have to say. I'm sure there's a better way. Maybe maybe if I hold shift while repairing a damaged component? Let me see. No, not really. It doesn't seem to make a difference. All right. Um, wasp is okay. Oh, no, it's not okay. Why did they not repair this? Bizarre. I can also put some more uh, scaffolding here for them to have more. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, for them to have more planes. So like so, and like so. And then put more planes on there. So we have a big, big army we can send out. Um, yes. Wasp. Uh, L. Bonger. Uh, Meteor Mark III is being repaired. Oh no, wait. Put into docks. Alright, uh, 28, 16, no, 28. Fire reverse thrusters. Oh jeez, I forgot this thing. Is yeah, that's, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. Oh, 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 oh. That wasn't quite confirmed, was it? 
come on. Oh, how did I not overheat the engines? I have no idea. Come on, turn. I can't land on my own ship. Come on. But if I do this, I lose the ability to turn. Oh. Oh. That was tricky. That was tricky. And how long? Yeah, that's fine. Repair that. All right. That was tricky. Before we do this, let's see if they've got some bombs. They've got some missiles, rockets. Uh, laser guided. Fuse proximity fuse is really, really, really good. I do have to say. Especially against uh, enemy planes. But before we do this, let me see where the fuel depots are. So there's a fuel depot right there. We just need a little bit more. And we'll probably need more still because we'll be burning uh, fuel as we wait. So let's see what we get. But I'll get most of my fuel there. Is it that transport coming here? No, it's not. Anything else. Of course, north and northwest carrying the new machinery. Scythian. So it might, it's probably going from Zephy to Jaffa. Yeah. Shame. I could use some more money right now, to be honest. Well, let's see. That uh, range is decreasing, of course. But we'll be going soon. I don't think we'll need to buy any more fuel at the moment. So. Wait for the repairs to finish. Oh, that's that's a really powerful signal. Position 23, root, main cargo, heavy machinery. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 2336. Uh, 4320. So yeah, they're they're here. Ah, but he said root. So they're in Jaffa now. One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Maybe six? Uh, and we are at... What's this place? Oh shoot, it doesn't... It doesn't say. What? What? <laughs> uh... Oh. What's this place? Why doesn't it say what this place is? Um. <laughs> I'm confused uh, because he might be going up here or might not be going up there either so I don't know we could leave a ship behind like a Skylark let's see Skylark yeah he, he would have enough to get back we could send we could leave a Scarab and a Skylark here um, but I don't know. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that. So, everyone else. What, without the Skylark? We said, oh, no, 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 never mind. What's this? Ships have... Okay, this is for return voyage. And what, some, some don't have enough fuel to get there? Is that it? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so they're going. And the Skylark will keep an eye out on the infrared, which should be coming from down here. And as soon as we detect it, we need to lift off. We'll probably... Uh, we'll probably... Uh, yeah, exactly. Thermal signature? What? Where is it coming from? But it's coming from... It's coming from up there. But that's... that's us. I miss... I can't quite see it. I don't think there's something there, right? No, no, no. There is something there. There it is. Something's coming from that side. Let's go and check it out. So... 240. I wish it would give you the degrees here. Something like this. Now 
Alright, let's see what it is. Not right now. I'm busy. Going at speed 160 route, no passengers, Windwalker. Sultan Windwalker. So that's this guy. And it came from here. So that might be the Windwalker here. We'll see. There it is.